Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm bringing you a makeup look from my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I miss you guys so much, so I thought I would surprise you guys with a makeup tutorial. It was very hard to film this, but I got through it, and I figured I would surprise you guys. So let's start right in. Okay, so I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and this is what it looks like if you've never seen it before, just in case you're wondering. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you guys what the palette looks like, just in case you're curious and you've never seen what it looks like. So, this is what it looks like, and yeah. So, we're going to start by priming our eyes, and to prime our eyes today, we are using the Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later Primer. I got this in my Ipsy bag, and I've been obsessed with it. This primer is literally no joke, one of the best primers I've ever used. I love it so much. So, now I'm going to... Okay, so for our crease today, we are using Salted Caramel. For the brush I'm using, I'm going to be using the Morphe M330 brush. This has been one of my favorite crease brushes recently, and I've been loving this brush, you guys. You guys honestly have no idea how, on how much I've been loving these brushes by Morphe. They are absolutely incredible. If you have never tried Morphe, you should definitely try them. They are amazing. Okay, so now I'm just going to be doing windshield wiper motions back and forth, and I'm just really making that crease. The salted caramel color that I'm using is one of my favorite colors, and I've been using this, using this color for like almost every look that I've been doing recently. I got this chocolate bar palette for, for, not for Christmas. I got this palette for Easter, and my mom surprised me with it. I've been wanting this palette for a long time. Um, I haven't been able to get to a store to get this, so my mom surprised me for Easter for this. As many of you guys know, I don't know if you know at all, but I've been having a knee injury, so it was really hard for me to film this video for you guys, and I wanted to get something up because I felt really bad for not uploading in the past, like, month, I think. I don't know why I said Christmas, but I've been totally off. I haven't filmed the video in so long, but I wanted to surprise you guys. Okay, so now I'm just showing you guys a little bit more of Caramelized. So, um, next we are going to be using the Morphe 504 brush. This is my second favorite blending brush that I've been using recently. Let me know what are some of your guys' favorites of Morphe's brushes. Let me know, like, what brushes you guys have been using by Morphe or what your favorites are, things like that. I'd love to know, so make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know what are some of your favorites. Um, maybe let me know what things I should try by Morphe. I've only tried a couple of things. I've tried their 35K palette and a couple of their brushes, but so far I'm totally impressed and I'm obsessed. So the second color to kind of um, make our crease a little bit more out there, we're going to be using the next color, and the next color is called Semi-Sweet. So that's what it looks like there, and that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so I'm using the Morphe M330 brush. Like I said, I go back and forth between these brushes, and these are my two favorite brushes at the moment. But yeah, let me know if there's other blending brushes by Morphe that you guys like better or you think that I would like. Um, let me know, and uh, yeah, and I'll make sure that I definitely try them out for you guys and let you guys know what I think about them. So I'm just going to start by putting this in my crease. I'm really going to make sure I define my crease, and I'm really going to you know, make my crease kind of smoky. I'm really going to bring it out, and I'm just going to blend, 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 blend. And that's what I'm going to be doing, so... Just gonna keep on blending. Blending is the key for this look. This look has a lot of blending, so um, just so you know. And I'm kind of smoking it out, so you can kind of see me kind of like going back towards the end of my brow because I'm really, really, really smoking out, and that's what I'm basically really focusing on in this look. And that's the whole main reason on what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna keep on blending and blending and blending and blending and blending, and that's the key. What you want to do for this look? Just keep on blending. Keep on blending. Hey, it's like from Finding Nemo. Keep on blending, keep on blending, keep on blending. <laughs> so now we are going to move on to the star of the show. And this is called Gilded Grangy, I want to say. I'm probably butchering this. I'm really sorry. So if I say it wrong, don't get mad at me. And I'm going to be using a flat brush. And this brush is actually from Elf, believe it or not. Um, I love Elf's brushes. I've been using them a lot recently. So, um, I'm going to start, um, by putting this on my lid, obviously. And then I'm going to kind of, like, you know, start painting it on. And then you'll see me make, like, a, like, 
blending motion but towards my nose just to kind of blend it in and then you'll see me I'm gonna do a circular motion like I'm doing right now I'm just kind of circling the color really making the color look you know really out there and I'm really kind of shaping my eye a lot so that's what I'm doing throughout this whole entire part so I'm just gonna keep on continuing what I'm doing I'm just gonna kind of keep shaping my eye and keep making that circular motion and that's what I'm doing guys it's just the same thing throughout the whole entire um, lid part. I'm just shaping it and how I want it. So here it is with um, the color on both eyes. I love this look. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, as I said a million times. All right, guys. So this is a better close-up. I wanted to make sure I got a better close-up for you guys so you could see it a little bit better. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a hard time making it, but I managed to get through it. And this is the look that I would wear, like the like the face part that I would wear for this look. So if you guys want to see it, make sure you leave me a comment down below, and I'd be happy to do that for you. Um, remember, I love you guys so much, and um, yeah, I'll let you guys know what happens with my knee once I know more. Um, I will see you in my next one. Make sure you follow me on all social media. I will leave it down below for you. Remember, I love you. Bye, guys.